Hello African, you're welcome once again to AgroLink and AgroLink is a platform for showcasing agricultural activities on the continent and this is brought to you by the Association of African Universities. For this episode, we are here at Ayumensa specifically with Rabbit Masters in Accra, Ghana to showcase the rabbit industry and its role in promoting food sustainability in Africa. You wouldn't want to miss this exciting episode. My name is Nana Ismambasam. Stay with us. How long have you been in this industry? Because I'm not sure you started with this many rabbits. I've been in this business for eight years. Oh. No. But this this branch was started a year ago. A year ago. Okay. So how many branches do you have now? I have three branches. Where? Where are they? Dodoa, the rabbit city, oh. and Malejo, uh, rabbit boutique, and Ayimensa, rabbit zoo. But they are all under rabbit masters? Yes, they are all under rabbit masters. So what are some of the sanitary procedures I have to take into consideration before I enter the main rabbit right. farm? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's great. And what's the purpose of wearing these? Okay, for sanitary purpose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are allergic to oh. animals or some certain type of animals. Some will say, when I touch rabbit, my skin itches. Or yes, people. So this is own. more for the yeah. human, not yeah, for, for the human. rabbit. No, no, for okay. the human. For the rabbit as well. mm. uh, yes. And the rabbit as well. Mm -hmm. So that maybe farmers, a farmer might come here with from another farm, just directly touching. It can transfer any disease, disease from that farm. Oh. Yeah. So can you introduce the other people who will be helping us today? All right. Uh, I have uh, three main people here and the organizer of the association of rabbit, uh, rabbit uh, Greater Accra Rabbit Farmers Association. He is our gang. boss major. We call it simple boss, boss major. Anyway, you mention his name. Yeah, I work under him when he comes so to. So each region has its own association? Uh, we're trying to form, form, a, form meet in all the regions. In all the regions. But as of now, we, we get to Accra. And I think oh, West things are, West things, I think, last, I think last you, you four months, yeah, last I, I was there and they they also set up their association. And uh, it's still region. It's still set up their, uh, I think, uh, week. two weeks or a week ago. Uh, okay. Uh. Right. So we have Ellen. I mean, uh, <laughs> with that, <laughs> with that hair, there cannot be rabbit masters because everywhere I mean, you'll be seeing her. Yeah, programs everywhere. Yeah, she can. Help her. Yeah, she can do everything, oh. anything here. Yeah. You can take care of animals, you can pr process, I think, grilling. I think she's in, in charge of the grill. Oh. And, so, and have okay. justice. Yeah, he, he does, does Yeah, he does the deliveries because mm. we deliver. Yeah. Um, we order, we deliver. He does the delivery, okay. in charge of the delivery. Justice. Okay. And this is Eugene. He's doing attachment with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can see. This job, this industry can so you give help back the, to the yeah, youth and the youth and okay. everything. So he's doing this attachment from. Okay. Um, so how long will he be here? Three months. Three months. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So You're welcome for the YouTube. Uh, thank you. Okay. So, um, what is actually the state of rabbit production in Ghana? Because rabbit, the rabbit industry hasn't been as popular as the other forms of animal production. This is a good question. Mm -hmm. We are trying our best to make it. You know, as you just said, that the rabbit production is not mm -hmm. as popular as other, yeah, like yes. the poultry and the the uh, the pig, the, the and cows. Everything. the cows and things. They have been around for long, and we, you know, rabbit does well in Europe and. Other European countries and some of the African countries is popular there. But Ghana, I think, we didn't take it. Mm 
people didn't take it as a work. Because I read somewhere that during um, a tampon's time, Colonel a tampon, he was trying to um, encourage the youth to venture into agriculture as a motive or as a mode of um, promoting food sustainability and also graduate employment. However, this has been going on for a while. There are always interventions that people are coming up with in order to promote food sustainability. What do you think or how timely do you think this industry is in promoting food sustainability in Africa? Some governments from the past have tried mm -hmm. to uh, promote the agriculture per, uh, sector for the, uh, to create jobs yes. for the youth mm -hmm. and even to produce food. I, our current government, like this, they say uh, planting for food Oops, and yes. rearing for animals, they factor in some of these animals which we can use. Mm -hmm. When we farm, we, we, we produce it, we can at least we can eat our own thing and save as source of employment to the youth. And this, as you can see, I'm also a youth and all the my employees, they are youth. But this one have created a job for them and they are just... Okay, so what are some of the rabbit breeds one should have on his farm? All right. Uh, there are different types of farming. We have the commercial, mm -hmm. which is the meat farming. Commercial farming, as I'm doing. Okay. And we have the, the pets and the fair. Okay. Uh, so in Europe, like this, Ghana is not developing. We are still trying. Uh, they turn... They, they remove the, the skin and turn it and use it for this winter clothes and other stuff, which we are also trying years <laughs> most more. So when you are doing that, such type of farming, you have to get a certain type of breed, those li large breeds. Okay. Yeah. Giants. Like the giants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flemish giants, there are some Flemish giants, and, and those are the type of breeds you have to get. And if you are doing pet you are going in for pet some want to have some nice rabbits around the other thing or only one cage like this mm -hmm. with where some few rabbits so that the, uh, the kids will be playing okay. you have to get something colorful some colorful stuff okay. yeah breeds but mm -hmm. to us who, who are doing commercial, commercial we also have some breeds that we use you can go and select a breed that the pet people use or the people Coats. who use for clothing use. Yeah. We do a, a breeds that will convert, since we are into meat, okay. since we are into meat, we will have to go for a breed that will convert feed, the feed you are given mm -hmm. to meat is uh, fast. So the breeds, some of the common b breeds that can convert meat, have a, a convert meat, a a feed, feed into meat mm -hmm. fast is uh, New Zealand white, uh, California white, uh, chinchilla standard, or let's say chinchilla, rabbit from chinchilla family, and, and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. yes, Can so you show us the breeds that you just mentioned? So, here in Ghana, we, most of us, we don't have pure breeds. Okay. Yeah, we don't have pure breeds. Because to import one pure breed, like, to import one, you can spend 1,200. Ghana cities. Yeah. yeah. To import one pure breed. One. Yeah, it's even more than. You are getting from South Africa where you get from some source, 1,000 to import only one rabbit. So if you are doing commercial, you are into commercial, you are doing this, and you are going for one rabbit, 1,000 Ghana cities, 1,200, which is the minimum you, you run at loss. So we go, maybe we can go for a meal, a bag. A male rabbit is called a back. We can go for one back, which we can use to change the face of the farm. So here, this rabbit is chinchilla. Okay. This, this one. Yeah, this is chinchilla. Oh. But <laughs> this chinchilla can give birth, and you will have the white one with the uh, the, the, the the pink eye. Okay. We call that one uh, New Zealand white. Yes. So it means it's not the same. If it's a pure breed, it should give birth to its uh, yes. its oh, kind. Okay. Mm. So, sense. there are so many things that we use to determine the, the breed, but we, we use the color. In Ghana, I think we only use the color 
when I see this pink one, this, uh, this white one, pure white, pure white with pink eye. You can hold like this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then I can say this is a, a New Zealand white. <laughs> Even the nose, the nose is a feature of a, a Californian white. Oh, Californian so white is mix. also white, mm. but the nose, the ear, and the tail can be black. So this one, maybe the grandfather or is a, 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 a Californian. So okay. we carry some of the genes. Some of the genes. And the it's coming white. to, yeah. But everything shows now that it is New Zealand white because mm. the eye is uh, yeah, and strong. it's white, uh, white, it shows. But, mm. yeah. So this rabbit can give birth. Once, maybe when you are breeding it, it can one day give birth to Californian white because it have a gene of Californian white and it. So the type of kids you get are not certain? No. With the mixed breeds? No. Okay, so which ones are popular among people? The popular uh, rabbits yes. we do are the commercial breeds, okay. which I, I just mentioned. Yes. The four, the, the big four. four. Okay. The so New Zealand white. Yeah, the New Zealand white. The, the California. Californian white. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Mm -hmm. And Cinnamon. cinnamon. Mm. Okay. We call it uh, the New Zealand, which is N. Yeah. Then the rest are C. Oh, okay. uh, Chinchilla, Californian, Californian and yeah. Cinnamon. cinnamon. Okay. They are the best breeds to do when it comes to commercial. So which one has the best meat? All these animals here, rabbits here, are good. When you kill one, they are, which I'll do, I'll kill one for you to see. Okay. You see the bone, we call something a uh, meat to bone ratio. Those rabbits that we use for pet farming, the meat to bone ratios are, uh, are, uh, are low. It means they have more bone. More, okay, more bone. Okay. More bone uh, to, the, to the meat. If I'm going to buy meat, I'm not going to buy a, uh, what, what do you call it, ndompe or uh, mm -hmm. I'm not going, uh, yeah. Yes, so meat. I want meat to buy, then uh, you are giving me bone. Mm -hmm. Maybe when I'm going to buy meat in the market, I ask, I don't want bone. Yeah, like goat, cow, I say, I don't want goat, uh, uh, bone. Yeah, so oh, somebody yeah. wants to buy meat. Commercial, we go in, commercial, we can only sell that meat. Because people, whether we like it or not, people will consume it. This weekend, I'll be busy. <laughs> we will be busy. We won't be able to sit down. Okay. People will eat. But if you say you are doing breeding for breeders, somebody wants to start a hundred dough unit. Mm -hmm. Hundred dough unit. Maybe if you say hundred dough unit, maybe hundred mothers. Let's say hundred yes. mothers. Like this farm is a hundred dough unit farm. Hundred okay. mothers and twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Okay. You want if the person comes to buy the hundred. He wouldn't come again. <laughs> I can expand this farm from here. I can select some of this, the females from here and increase my stock. So if you, are, you want to take it at business, you don't need to think about breeding. breeding. Some ways now people will come because they are, they are good breeds here, so people will come. People will pay even money mm -hmm. and uh, they will pay money and I produce for them. But that's not the priority. If I'm selling 1,000 uh, rabbits in a month, 70% uh, will go as uh, meat. Meat, okay. Then, let's say... 30%. 30, uh, uh, 30 percent will go for breeders. For breeders, okay. So, if you are doing farming, you want to concentrate on only breeding, you wouldn't make uh, uh, anything. You can't pay. You can't pay them. You can't pay uh, your workers. Yourself and your workers. Okay. So you have to do something that mm -hmm. will bring money, money. at least uh, in in 90 days. Uh, yes, sustaining the business. Yes, yeah, okay. that's what we do. I mean, so talking about breeding, how often are the rabbits crossed? Okay, talking a less. We, most farmers cross five, five times in a year. Okay, five, five times in a year. Yeah, they can do. People who are serious, they can do five times in a year. They can do five times in a year, which means when the rabbit uh, uh, is uh, four weeks. Mm -hmm. You will take it from the mother. You rest for. Uh, you give them medication or maybe antibiotics or the wema, something like that. Maybe if you're having some little problem, then you breed again. When you breed like that, you can do five times in a year. 
So do you crossbreed? Do you breed um, maybe a chinchilla and a cinnamon? Yes. Okay. You can do it. Since I'm, I'm not into color, if I kill this rabbit right now mm -hmm. and dress, dress it right now, you wouldn't know whether it is cinnamon, cinnamon chinchilla. You chinchilla, and this. When young farmers come or people who want to start come, they say, hey, I like this color. I like this. I like this. I like this. But some of us, we don't, we don't find mm -hmm. the I can kill any rabbit I want to. I can kill any rabbit I want to. Okay. So at yeah. what stage or at what age is the rabbit ready for consumption? Okay. It depends on the breed. Okay. The breed uh -huh. and the feeding. Hmm. Like those uh, giants, like new, uh, what's the name? Flemish giant. Mm -hmm. It can become a giant, but it takes a long, a time, long time to become a giant. Estimates? Uh, eight to ten months. Yeah, to one year to become the giant. So if I have to pay him, I can't wait eight for months. eight months. Or a year before I'll sell one rabbit to pay him. Okay. So you go in for those one that like mature the faster. Yeah, like this one, uh, the New Zealand white, California white, chinchilla, and the uh, the commercial the breed. commercial breed. Okay. I think ninety days, if you feed very well, ninety days you get it. Okay. And now, as association, we are trying to bring that. Christmas time I was doing. Uh, uh, we are doing eight weeks to, yeah, which is uh, nine weeks, and there of 65 days, 70 days. I was getting 70 days, Christmas time, because there was pressure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's a common notion that rabbits are not fussy eaters. Yes. They eat almost everything you give them. But I think you will have something or an additive for them to mature faster for consumption. So what are yeah. some of the um, constituents of the rabbit feed? In the world. They feed on these stuff, uh, the plantain mm -hmm. leaf, the cassava leaves, any, any, if you give any leaves to a rabbit that it, does, it, 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 it naturally doesn't take, it won't eat. Okay, so this is an intensive um, system. Yes. But then the extensive system, they can eat almost everything, but when you bring them inside, you have to monitor. Not that. Okay. Then... They eat, so you see yes, they are eating it. Yes. But this wouldn't give you a result. This feed, they have extracted the new, uh, the nutrients in. Maybe this one is having, let's say, it's having carbohydrate. Okay. Let's say I'm not, I'm not a, a food uh, this thing. Let's say it's having carbohydrate. Then it means it's not having protein. Maybe this one is having fat. Mm -hmm. So when the rabbit in the bush in the wild, when they move around. Maybe when they are eating only plantain leaves, mm -hmm. which is giving, let's say, fat, yes. only fat, mm -hmm. they only get fat. They won't get uh, uh, protein mm -hmm. yes. and other stuff. So the rabbits in the wild, you see them, they can be two years. They can be four years, but they will still be small. small. Okay. They will still be small. But when you say we are doing a commercial business, we have to... Intensive. Yeah, intensive. Oh. We have to take care of them. So we, 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 we give them formulated feed. I never try grass in any of my farm. Grains in any of my farm. I don't. I will not try it. So this is a wholesome feed. What are some of the constituents? We have fat. Mm -hmm. Fat in it. Protein, carbohydrates, and uh, uh, what again? All the nutrients. So is it approved by a veterinary officer or it is just out there? Uh, we won't say it has been approved. Rabbit in itself or a uh, pork, the pigs and all those things. They, we, we import uh, uh, this thing, things that uh, they use for, uh, for pot, the pottery people use. So this is a poultry feed. Oh, this is a poultry feed. Okay. Yes. So it has been approved. Okay, so rabbits and poultry have similar feed. Oh, yes. 
Okay. You can because we don't have any special feed for, for rabbit, rabbit. Okay. and the poultry which is uh, 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 popular have been in the existence for so many 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 years before okay. we are starting this we have to start using their uh, feet before but as time goes on mm -hmm. maybe you are not getting the result you have to get when you go and buy the feet the maybe, maybe because the person who is doing doing this feed is also in for pro uh, uh, profit. Uh, profit. So it will reduce the nutrients mm -hmm. and maybe add more wheat brown to it, which is just a fiber. Okay. And you wouldn't get, you bring it to your farm, you wouldn't be getting get the results. So now. some of us who are doing it big time, we go and formulate our own. Your own. So you yeah. formulate your own? Oh, yes. Okay. And is it more cost effective? Yes. Okay. Sure. All right. And how often are they fed, the rabbits? Once in 24 hours is okay, but some people feed their rabbit twice. Some even feed three times <laughs> a day. But if I have to feed, I have to be feeding this rabbit two mm -hmm. times, mm -hmm. twice in a day. After make loss, they need a, a some nutrients to make it. When they just get it, the rest of the food that they eat, they waste it. Hmm. Maybe. One melting, you give one melting, which is a good formulated feed. One melting, which is a 160 gram. 160 gram. Maybe a, a, a research have proved that 160 gram, when you give it to one rabbit, like this one, there are four. This is a colony cage, there are four in it. So you give four of that one to them. When they eat it, they are okay. When they finish eating it, they are okay in 24 hours. If you give them two, 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 they will finish it in but only one that will work. Oh, no. So why waste your time to, but nice people, they want to be nice to the animal, so they, okay. yeah. So um, I've been to some rabbit farms where the cages are constructed with wood. Uh, mm. re I realize that yours is with uh, metal. Yes. Is it more, is it a better source or a better alternative comparing it to the wood, wooden structure? Yes. Okay. Yes, How they are, they are, advantages okay. that makes us to go into it because we all started when I started 2012 rabbit mm -hmm. I wasn't having money okay <laughs> I wasn't have money so I also started with the wood mm. but the wood only last okay. as you can see I've been using this over a year, over a year. I, in one of my farm I've used eight years but it's still like that even though it's, it, it might be expensive, but the wood, you use it two years at a spot. You have to go and construct another, construct another one, uh -huh. which is uh, if you want to do, a, what's the name, a, a long-term farming, you go in for a better lesson. Yeah. I like to go, I like to go in for a good stuff, which will take long. Yeah, I wouldn't go for something that in a man time. I'm mm. a business, I did business, yes. so in a man time, it's you called, have you have to replace it. No, okay. that makes me to go, in, and I have the mind to do European type of farming in Ghana. And what is that? What is the European type the of farming? Indoor, the indoor, and this system, the automated, yeah. Okay. The automated, you just pour water. So this lady, if she's here alone, Ellen is here alone, she can take 30 minutes to take care of this farm. 30 minutes to feed. And give them water. But if it's a wooden cage, this is a large farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's large. You won't see it some, uh, uh, anywhere. But because of the, 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 the caging system, you see it like it's a, You won't see it anywhere. If it's a wooden cage we want to use for this quantity mm -hmm. of animals, it will take the whole place. The whole of this place. That's what, but there's no special region apart from yeah, that. Yeah, apart, apart from that. Cost effectiveness. Yes. And I want to, I, it's rabbit I want to do. Okay. And I'm doing rabbit. I don't intend to stop doing rabbit, rabbit now. So if this one can take me 40 yes. years, 40 years, then let me go in for it. 40 years time, maybe I can change it or something. When you think of a university, you think of a place where you will go to cut out your future. And when you get there, you realize there's a lot more to it. The beautiful structures, facilities, and ambience. 
a place where you meet great minds. Learn from each other, experience different cultures as well as master the art of fundamental problem solving. Be part of a whole different study experience with Kampala International University, KIU, Exploring the Heights. You're welcome from the break. If you just tuned in, this is AgroLink on AAU TV. And AgroLink is a platform for showcasing and highlighting agricultural activities on the continent. We are still here with Rabbit Masters, where we are discussing the rabbit industry and its role in promoting food sustainability in Africa. You welcome back from the break. Thank you. So what should one take into consideration when considering constructing cages for rabbits? At this time, rabbits are snoring animals. Okay. When you go to South Africa right now, you see that the snow is falling, they will be jumping in the snow. That's why even the names, New Zealand, California, uh, Jesse Woolley, from Spain, France, and all the names are named, they are named after those countries. They didn't say Ghana or something. It's only me that have the vision that mm -hmm. I've been telling farmers that one day they will name a rabbit after me before I die. Great master. Mm. No, uh, yeah. So that they will, they will have a breed called, I've tried it, but I've failed. <laughs> but one day I'll start again. Okay. A breed called? Rabbit uh, uh, <laughs> Harrison. Harrison. My name is Harrison. Okay. Harrison, for that's the one this thing. One day. One, one day. One day. It should have Hopefully a name. Hopefully. Yeah, but so far, mm -hmm. we don't have anything. So it, may, it means, just as a name, it does roll in those countries where the weather, uh, the weather, the climate is very cool. So even in Ghana, uh, the parts of Ghana that the weather is cold, mm -hmm. like the eastern part, the brown, the forest zones, rabbit does roll there than here in Accra. Yes, we are managing. Okay. Okay, so um, with the cage dimensions, what are some of the yeah the dimensions you must take into consideration when you're constructing a cage for rabbits? A, a, a standard cage okay. is two by three for a door, a door, a door, mm -hmm. because uh, when they are pregnant and they are about to they litter, litter twenty, they litter twenty eight to uh, thirty four days, oh, okay. and, and, and when they are about to litter. You have to put a bus in for the litter. Yeah, the nest bus mm. for them to deliver into. Because in the wild, because in the wild, when they want to litter, they want to give birth. Mm -hmm. They go and make some a place comfortable and give oh. birth. So okay. we are we are adapting what they do to there to yeah. Okay. Because we can't cheat nature. Yes, we can't. Mm. Like the length, the 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 width. It says our uh, two, about, uh, yeah, uh, let's say two. This is two feet. Mm. So that's the, the, width. the width. So the length has to be three, like this. Mm. Because, Maybe. yeah, people, because the same cage, there'll be a water uh, trough in it. Uh -huh. There'll be uh, a feeding, a feeding trough. trough. Uh, the so it they all take place. Mm -hmm. This my cage is not up to that, but it's a, a standard cage because there's no water bowl yeah, in the in which the is occupying so place. Exactly. This one, you see, this animal is just lying there under the the feeding trough. Yeah. But if you have to put the typical feeding yes. there, so because of my caging system. I, they are not up to, but they are. They are to yeah. find innovative mm, ways of. Yeah, so we have. We are and I mm. see a numbering system which are not. Yeah, oh, which are in order actually. Yes. What's, what is the use of this or what influences the numbering? Oh, uh, it helps to take stock. Stock of the rabbits? Yes. It helps to take stock and record keeping. It helps in rep record keeping. If you don't label, so let's say this uh, cage, cage 50, mm -hmm. if you don't label the cage and you breed the rabbit, it takes 28 to 40 uh, uh, to 34 days to deliver. If, if I cross a rabbit in average uh, layman's uh, language mm -hmm. uh, today, today's date is uh, uh, fourth, mm -hmm. fourth, right? Yes. Not or today, third. Today is third. Today third. is third. Yes. So I can, I'll just write the date. 
third. Oh, so the rabbit was crossed on the third. Yeah. Okay. With a which meal? Okay. Because if someone is coming to buy a rabbit here, we don't need to give a the same a brother and sister mm, from this. Okay. That's what the problem most people have in their farm well. inbreeding. We call it inbreeding. Mm, so we label the cage. Mm. This is B five. Yeah. B B means back. We've made okay. all the this thing. This one help to take stock off. Uh, yeah, mm. and record. And I'm, if I'm not here right mm. now, I know as I've been coming to this farm every time, if this rabbit I've been taken to somewhere, I've been coming here all the time so I can know. Yeah. Where is 45? What is this? Even their livestock, so it can die. So if it dies, we have a casualty book. So they've entered in the 45 is dead. If I'm not here, because I don't come here all the time. How often does a veterinary officer visit this farm? Okay. We won't say... I don't have a, ve a vet, vet visiting this farm. Okay. I, I'm more than a vet. We call this one on the job training. On the job training, okay. When you go to the poultry farmers, mm -hmm. they don't have vets yeah. unless there is a, 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 a problem. Yeah, a pandemic, okay. Yeah. Unless there's a problem, then but they, they know how to do their normal routine that mm -hmm. if the rabbit is not eating well, I can give vitamins to give it appetite to eat. I, I know every okay. every farmer will know so we don't and rabbits are not animals that also can be they uh, sick uh, yeah and uh, sick is okay. they are not fragile just like that sick 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 like so no immunization or sterilized food we have uh, as I was saying mm -hmm. I don't do medications Medication. on my farm okay why I don't give that uh, grass mm -hmm. the greens so you give them healthy food uh, yes. Which if I'm giving them, healthy. if I'm giving them this one, you see, they, there's, there will be some fungus and bacteria on it. It can infect them. So you need to, if you are doing that, you need to give them, uh, uh, what is the name? Dewormer. You, you need right. to be deworming them. But I don't have a reason to deworm my rabbit. So it also cut down cost, cost. And we make sure that the farms are neat. I will say it again. Right? You can stand here and eat. Yeah. The place is clean. If you keep your farm very clean, you don't need to. You don't be sick for you to go and get a medication. You know, maybe vitamins. Yeah, mm -hmm. that anyone to. Exactly. Yeah, because but of the way they are being used. Yes. You boost their, you boost their immune system. Yes, I think. And just, but to be sick, 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 we don't have that. I'll go and bring a vet and just. Even if they are sick, I would have. I will. I will know what to do. Every farmer will know what to do. This until the problem is. Unsolvable, we can't solve it. It's beyond his destiny. Then maybe you can bring the destiny. So, yeah. how many kids does one do have? Uh, Dep does it does it vary depending on yes. the breed? Maybe if oh, yes. um, a California white, a chinchilla, does it depend on the number of? Yeah, does that have to do with yeah, the number of oh kids? The they commercial have? breeds give birth well, and I can say boldly, mean uh, average birth of five. Tell you so. You will get it. Average five. Mm, average five. Because okay. some will give back to ten, some twelve, some six, some one. In this one, you just need at least five, you will get. Since rabbits are snoring, uh, uh, snoring animals, they love cold weather like okay. this. So when uh, the weather is dry season, your rabbit can be there. You say people will be complaining. Have crossed rabbit, it's not pregnant. If my rabbit is not coming on uh, heat. It's not coming on heat for me to cross. They don't like heat. That makes me to do shit and do mm -hmm. this thing that they they don't be too much heat. Like by now, I can do breeding right now. We cross rabbit in the morning and evening. The reason being that when you cross it in the hot uh, afternoon, it won't, it won't work. So what's the best time to cross them? Morning and evening. But for me, mm, no for me, as, as I'm doing, uh, uh, this type of this thing, the weather is cold here, so I can cross. That makes me to even to do this indoor type, not to expose it. And just this. So I, every time we can be working, every time we can be working. They don't, they don't do well in the, in the heat. In the heat. So rainy season, you see that they can give birth to 10. They will more be giving birth, they'll be giving birth. But dry season, like the heat time like this, they can give five, two, six. And it's about 10 in the rainy season. 10? Yeah, 10 kids? Yeah, they can do that. In the rainy season.
I'll move this one. Like that. So this layer mash, I like using layer mash. So what is this? This is a uh, rice brown okay. because wheat brown is short in Ghana, mm. and there have been some people have been saying it that wheat brown is, sh is, sh is sh uh, short yeah, every day. Good. They have been saying it, but I don't like because I go and prepare my feet that can take me two to three months. So I don't really research. research have proven that a good feet one one sixty uh, gram should be okay for for. A rabbit. a rabbit in 24 hours, okay. which is uh, one melting, a good formulated thing, one melting. But I've seen me myself, me too, I'm trying to be Mr. Nice. So I've seen that, oh, why, why one, one melt small like that? No, no, it's not good. So they are here. They can't talk if the food mm -hmm. is not in that row. Let's say so. Yes. I said, oh, let me do uh, two ten. This two ten to increase it. But a melting will be, this one is bigger than this. So you give them two? One. One. Oh, okay. I give this two ten, two ten oh, grams. Oh, two ten. Oh, okay. Grams. Instead of the one sixty. Mm. Yeah. So they give. Okay, she. Uh, she feed this typical one. So you see. So ladies too can do farming. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of the 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 great giants, or people who I feel they can do farming well is ladies. I like to work with ladies. Yeah. I, I Why is she putting some down there instead of in the container? I, they, maybe. They have food. They haven't finished this, but they, she's just trying to show you. So you don't need to be changing the formula all the time. This formula that I've changed right now, it will take them uh, some time for them to adapt to it. Because I do with brown. I do only wheat brown. That's what I, I, I do. Wheat brown with this. But now we are giving the rice brown. But we take them. But there's not nothing we can do. I don't produce wheat brown in the short. Uh, so, yeah. so those, are, those are some of the challenges to challenges that you we face. We face. Yes, as we are talking about. Yeah. So um, apart from the wheat brown, the shortage of the wheat brown, and then the price or the cost of the constituents of their feed, what are some of the other challenges that you face in your day-to-day -day activity as a rabbit farmer? Finances. Finances, in that is very big. Oh yes. So finances in terms of... Instead, this thing. This thing that you are, you are, you are seeing here, <laughs> this case would have cost you with everything, would have cost you 5,000, uh, 2,500 with a... The, the feeders mm -hmm. system and this thing would have cost you like that close to 2,500 with delivery. Would have for one? Yeah, for one like this. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have uh, money, you, 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 go you maybe with a wooden structure which might oh yes. be more costly. Uh, yeah, which will changing. be more the same. Yes. So people who do the small farming rather end up sp uh, 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 spending much mm -hmm. on. Yes. Yeah, because if I'm going to buy a uh, I, I was I was I was busy, and when the car was, so my driver got uh, the thing. I didn't even know how much he got it, because I don't want to think about it. They would have <laughs> sell it. They would have sell it. Uh, this one. They would have sell it about uh, uh, twenty-five to thirty series. For one. Yeah. And for you one have a lot like of. This. Yes, they would have sell thirty series. But when you go to the source, you want to buy, you get it out twenty series. So why don't you go to the source? But you see. My feed is finished and I am not ready to go and prepare, go to the source. So I bought it, 30 cities. Mm -hmm. So when I'm going to, if like I'm going to prepare in bulk, in bulk and take much money, I can get it cheaper, cheaper. cheap, 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 cheap. cheap, cheap. Okay. Yeah, so money comes, I'm talking for general farm, farmers. Money is the reason. If you have money, you you'll be able to expand the farm. You'll be able to expand. And adopt innovative practices, practices to ensure that you get more rabbits exactly. out of one door. Yes. Okay. You can get people, they'll be doing the work. Sounds very stressful. stressful. Um, at this time, I'm full time rabbit farmer. I do only rabbit farming. Only time. rabbit yeah. farming. Yeah, full time. But you're able to sustain yourself, meaning this industry is very productive. Oh, man. It's very sweet. Yes. I mean, it, 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 it is a gold field if you do it very well.
So in conclusion, what advice do you have for someone who is now thinking of going into rabbit business? What should a person expect venturing into this into this business? I think they should uh, acquire the necessary knowledge hmm. before they go into it. It's good, and the, the knowledge is out there. If you want to do rabbit, now you can just go to someone who is doing well in the rab <coughs> rabbit uh, rabbit industry. industry. Then you. Learn, uh, learn them and some how just like what yeah, you do, do right. He is here to to learn. If you learn and go back to the school and just do so that is that's the only advice. Uh, thank you very much You're for welcome. your time and we hope next time when we call on you you um, receive us as well as today. You. This brings us to the end of yet another episode of AgroLink. And AgroLink, as you're aware, is a platform for showcasing and promoting agricultural activities on the continent. You can keep watching our programs on the Association of African Universities on Facebook and YouTube, as well as on our dedicated TV website at cv.ajau.org. My name is Nana Ismambasa.